no, I know. No, I know. I know I have to do another build, but I don't know if I've got any wood to do it. I, I can't just magic wood out of thin air, can I? What do you mean they're here? Hi. Let's, let's get building. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, we are back in the shop and we're gonna be making a double-headed bearded battle axe today. Not quite as big as that one, but almost. This is gonna be roughly 450 mil wide, but that deep and the handle is gonna be 1.2-ish meters. So it's not gonna be quite as big as that one, but it's gonna be a beautiful beast as well. So the first thing we've got to do is try and work out what the hell we're going to make it out of. So let's see if we can go find some wood, shall we? So now that I've got the template stuck together, it's going to be roughly that big. So I can now work out what I've got to go. So this is the purple heart that's left over from the sword. And it is long enough, but it's not wide enough. But I can splice this in. Then what do I put on top? I do have some elm but it's really thick so I may actually use some of the wood from the table actually. I think that'll give it a good little aesthetic. <laughs> Okay, time once again for one of those patented, fabulous Brookswood transitions that you come here for. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. Ah, oh, for the... Really? For... God's sake, for... Well, that's a shame. Okay, so now this is all glued up, we're gonna attach the template and start cutting it out. This is done. Now I just shaped this, which you would have just saw, but I did the whole shaping on the review video for the BD370, the Lumberjack belt and disc sander. So if you want to watch a full video, go and watch over there, but you would have seen some clips of me shaping this one. But now I need to figure out the handle. Now, like I said, I don't know what to use. I've got a big chunk of cherry here, which could work. I've got ash. And I've also got a bit of oak there, thinking ash. So let's get the ash board down. We're going to mill it because it is fully rough. It's all rough sawn. And then we'll see where we stand from there. I can only advise people not to try this on their own at home. Now, luckily enough, I am quite a strong man. Uh, but even for me, this is bloody heavy. Let's hope this is thick enough. So, this is now 34 mil by 60 mil, and my head here is 30 mil by 75 mil. Now obviously the plan is to make a slot. Now obviously that slot would be very thin. So what I need to do is I think I need to cut this down. So probably just the purple heart is there. But that should be good once 
it's all cut down. Let's see if this goes together. Oh, that seats perfectly. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is epic. Okay, so handle is almost shaped and finished. Head is now shaped and finished. So let's slot those together, see how this looks first time. That's seated. Now that, <laughs> that is looking epic. Not quite as big as my other one, but it's not far off. Definitely not as heavy. I'm liking the feel of the handle. I do have one sanding line off just on the bottom bit here because that's but apart from that it's looking epic i've got one hole to fill so i'm going to get some rubio wood filler out for that one i think and then it's pretty much just hand sanding this is looking badass baby so i couldn't find any wood filler so i've gone back to my old faithful o3 adhesives thick black uh, to fill this little knot hopefully i can cover that knot with some of the lasers anyway so it won't be massively noticeable but Let's get this filled. So it is now time to do the engraving of the lion on this axe head. I have done some tests to try and find the right size. And I think this size will fill the axe head quite nicely. How about a nice time lapse of uh, this being printed, yeah? Okay, it's now finished printing, and I can't always say printing, I meant lasering, but look how epic that looks. So let's give this a quick sand at 180 and see what it looks like. So it needs a little bit more work. <laughs> oh, now that is badass, man. Oh, I'm so happy with how that turned out. That dragon head and that lion head is just awesome. I cannot wait to get some finish on this. But there's more to do before I do that. I need to finish giving everything a hand sanding. I've got some brass rod to put in as pins. I need to shape this top section. I want to put a little chunk of something something in there to make it uh, look solid and whole. I've got to brand the handle. I've got to brand the end. So I've got some more lasering to do, I think, before this is 100% finished. Oh, and I've got to put some Rubio on it. I've got some nice brown Rubio for the handle. I can't remember exactly which shade I'm going for. We'll tell you that in a minute. And I've got some leather wrap as well. I picked up some leather wrap from Etsy and I'm gonna wrap, do a half wrap at the bottom up to probably about there and then do a loose wrap to the top so you can still see that beautiful engraving when I get it done. So I think it's time for some more lasering. I think it's straight. Ow. Okay, that is all of the markings done on the shaft. Now, it's my logo time on the bottom. Okay, 
that is all of the lasering work done. No more lasering, thankfully, because even though I'm figuring that laser out, I've not, not got the measuring all down and where to put it. It's lots of trial and error. It'll be construction time, I think. Oh, wait. So I've got some more sanding to do, and then when the finish arrives, I'm going to put this as like a nice brown, I think, like a lightish brown. I've got a few different options coming, and then it'll be leather handle wrap time, and then it'll be done. There you go, one beautifully built, double-headed, bearded, Viking-inspired Norse battle axe. You've got the lion on one side, the tiger on the other, and oh, it's so pretty, so pretty. Purple heart, oak, with an ash handle, with a lovely black leather grip. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is a beauty I do not want to give it away. Why do I keep building things that I don't want to give away anymore? It is infuriating. <sighs> Feels so good in the hand. The handle, for me, is perfect, but for others, could be a little bit chunky. So next time, if I do another one of these, I need to use thinner leather or thin the handle down further first. But again, for me, for a big strong Viking, not that I'm a Viking, that is perfect and would definitely cleave some heads. So that's this build done. The Maker Central 2024 Build 2 giveaway. So if you want to win this, you've got to come to Maker Central in May. Information is down in the description and a little linky so you can buy some tickets. And then you can win this. Day one, day two, I'm not sure. Don't know which one I want to give it away on first. I think this will probably be the day one giveaway. So come see it, it will be on my stand and it will also be on the Make-A-Wish stand which is the raffle charity we are supporting this year. And come see it, get a picture, ho ho! And then if you're very lucky, take it home. Now, this is making me want to raid a village. I'm going to find one. Bye!